friends and I have been talking about how, in a way, we are in a lucky technology spot that this pandemic happened when it did because of the tools that have been available to us to be able to work from home, teleconference, have the Internet be what it is. Do you think that it can sustain this work from home for a prolonged period of time? I mean, are we going to lose the Internet? Are we going to lose connectivity? Yeah, I mean, it's a great question. I, look, I think capacity right here is not going to be an issue, but I think it just shows, you know, companies like Zoom, Citrix, Microsoft, cloud computing, just how important that is. That's really been a winchpin to how we've sort of seen this remote technology really come off and be smooth and really keep things going. And I think ultimately the average consumer now starts to see how this technology is really changing enterprise and the whole technology landscape. So a lot of these tools have been available, obviously, for some time, but maybe we haven't all been using them as prolifically as we are right now, because, frankly, we're pushed into a corner and we have to. We can't meet in person. We have to do it over Zoom. So can you talk to us about what you think the sustained impact may be after this is over, whenever that may be? Will we be continuing to use Citrix in the same way and Zoom in the same way and some of these other names? Or is this sort of a momentary um, you know, point in time where these are going to be very valuable tools for us all. Yeah, look, I think they're valuable tools, just taking a step back for enterprises and consumers going forward. Obviously, more of a temporary spike in terms of what we're seeing with, with the global lockdown. But I do think the world changes post-COVID-19 in terms of remote technology. And that's why when you look at areas like there's companies like DocuSign, eSignature, of course, Citrix. You look at cloud computing, look at Microsoft, Amazon. And really what we're seeing is an acceleration to cloud and even the cybersecurity names that are impacted. So I think there's a broader ripple effect across technology here that I think investors now are starting to go through the rubble to look at. So let's dig a little bit into some of those names. Zoom obviously has gotten a lot of attention. So I feel like maybe we can push that one aside for just a minute and give our viewers some more insight into the other names. DocuSign, Citrix, what are the other names that you like here and why? Dig a little deeper on what this means and what it could mean after this crisis for, for business enterprise investment here. Sure. So let's think about signatures, hand-to-hand -hand signatures, DocuSign's e-signature. So it's really remote signature technology. And that's a good example. I could tell you there's obviously carnage going on in terms of spending, but not with DocuSign. That's a company that I put in the stay-at-home sort of remote technology era. You look at cybersecurity, names like Zscaler. That's cloud technology outside the firewall. More remote technology needs to be secured. That's where names like Zscaler and CyberArk Act. So that's why even though you look at names that fit that, and then you look at a name like Citrix. Citrix is another technology that's really starting to see a major boom from remote technology. That's why, in my opinion, taking a step back, obviously an unprecedented environment, but you got to look at cloud computing, remote technology, and cybersecurity as a little more insulated in this spending environment and names you want to own for the other side of this dark valley.